In the next gen update of Witcher 3 for PC, it will have ray tracing global illumination and ray tracing occlusion. They also added FSR 2.0 for AMD and DLSS for Nvidia GPUs. There will be dynamic resolution scaling and the models along with the game will have 4K textures. SSR or screen space reflection was available only for water before but now it will be available for everything in the game and things will look more shiny in general. There are auto plus settings for background character, grass density and level up details. After this there will be photo mode for the game. Photo mode will have a lot of features to take beautiful screenshots in the game and the new graphics enhancement feature will also be in the mode. Two new camera options, one is combat camera distance and another is horseback camera distance. If you set them to close, the camera will be a little bit closer and to the side which actually gives the game a different look and it's a really nice feature. For console, there will be performance and quality mode, 60 and 30 FPS for Series S and PS5. The implementation is same from the PC, there will be ray tracing, occlusions, SSR, FSR, dynamic resolution scaling features just like PC. PS5 also will have haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. You can feel the impacts when you hit an enemy, the sound wave of the gameplay sounds creates this feeling. Now let's mention other overall gameplay features. There will be an option where you can set different buttons for every sign where previously you had to open the radial menu to select a sign and cast it. Now if you turn the feature on it won't be needed to do. Sign builds will have an edge in the update for sure. World map will have filters for example you can hide the question marks and boat icons from the map which can make the map cleaner than before. Be mindful that these options are a choice and you can experiment with them, if you don't like them you can just not use them. Grasses and foliage assets are reworked, environment meshes are improved in the game, texture streaming budget is increased where you can load more textures in the VRAM, weathers like clouds are enhanced and adds a nice touch. Grout has a button for walking now, for consoles you can just move the stick slowly to make him walk. Dialogues and NPC chatter font sizes are two new options that lets you make the text slightly bigger than before. Two famous quests are fixed and also other quests are fixed and small improvements here and there is implemented like they said they fixed the starters in cutscenes. You can now pause the game during cutscenes which you could not do before. New subtitles and voiceovers like the Chinese dubbing is added and also other languages are improved. Now you can hide the minimap during exploration, it's a choice, you can keep it on or off. When it's on, you will have the minimap and objectives hidden but you can press the focus button that will bring them up, which are Netflix DLC quests can lead you to new armors, swords and items. Voice lines are added for the quests and there are two armors, the season 1 armor and the season 2 armor along with a Nilfgaard armor. Dandelion will have a new outfit. There will be cross progression added and cloud saves. There will be more, they didn't reveal everything but they said see you guys offline and online and said there's one more small thing for the Witcher gamers which they are not gonna spoil now. So from that I'm gonna guess there will be online features like co-op or online PvPs maybe, who knows. But that's all the features they announced which I have compressed in one video for the Witcher fans. If you liked it then subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.